Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Amnesia Dark Descent. We're gonna continue where we left off, and, uh, well, we'll see. I don't really know what what there is for me to, uh, to await. Uh, well, no, I, that's, that's saying it wrongly. I, I don't quite know what awaits me, not me to await. And I forgot completely how you play this game. No, it's F for the lantern. I got some um, chemistry pot, right? Yeah, and I need mementos. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path of the refinery. Can it be dissolved? That's what I'm wondering as well. You know, I love the screaming and everything. It's just... It's lovely. It's a nice addition. Entrance hall. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. It's quite tragic, quite tragic. The wind. This is the wine cellar, right? It's locked. It will not open. It will not open without a key. Oh great! Oh great! Find the key to the wine cellar. That is easy to say. Not so easy to come by. How about going back this way? This is blocked off. Nothing I can do about that. The ambient sounds are really not making me feel nice. Archives. Maybe there's something in there. Traveling to Dover and going through the Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. The sense of guilt. What am I hearing? On the 16th of May, 1839, the unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Oh. Okay. Statue. Nothing in here. Wait, is this Stefano? Isn't this like the PewDiePie reference from like 10,000 years ago? Stefano, isn't it? That's nice. I don't want like the food steps. It is making me uneasy. It sure is, yeah. Okay. I'll light that up. 
Nothing. All right. Well, I'm really bad with horror games, so I just want you to know how horrible this feels for me. Keep hearing footsteps. Actual clean clothes. Different thing from usual. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Hmm. Quite a predicament, old me. Mm, there's some. No oil, though. Would love some oil. Where am I now? Should light this up. That doesn't do much. Okay. Music. Matchboxes. Or Tinder boxes, actually. Come on, come on. You know, I kind of feel horrible for the people watching, though, because I'm pretty sure that this is... Yeah, Gamma, turn that up. Even though it doesn't seem to make a difference because of some... Well... Probably because it's an old game. But, like, the Gamma doesn't actually change, and I can't raise it. I usually put it above the regular for any game because YouTube makes the videos darker. I know how annoying that, that can be, so that's why I do it. Never just want to watch a dark video where you can't see anything. But at the same time, I would leave this lantern on always. But I can't because of the rules of the game. I want to open, it's locked. Okay. I'm gonna go back through here. Oh, it's this way. I'm gonna go in that room. Am I still doing good on sanity? Slight headache. Yep, it's good. Hmm. What a nice long hallway. Surely nothing bad will happen. I heard a ominous sound from that room. ominous sounds. It's just what I love to hear. 
Hey, oil. Let's put that in. Oh, yeah, I was really needing it. Mm, some sort of designs. What just happened? Oh, it just closed off behind me. Good, good. We love to see it. Kingdom of Russia. Any light I can light in here? That's not gonna. I mean, this is too small. What just happened? Oh, I fell asleep. Seventeenth of May. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Yes. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. What's happening to me? My disbounding hands are shaking. How do I fix my sanity? I can kind of tell myself I'm not doing too well in the sanity department. Chest. That I can open. Resources. That I can use. An actual natural light. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. I'm guessing I'm somewhere that I can recognize here, but this is way too complicated for me to recognize. Oh, it actually falls apart like the pen the thing, I think. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Uh-huh. Sledgehammer will do the job. No, a piece of paper. Can we break it with a piece of paper? No, I'm guessing I need an actual item. Let's look around. I'll light that up. The piano was essentially indicating it to myself. Uh, no. What am I saying? The piano was essentially indicating me to come here. Right, the sounds of piano. Must be something. Am I wrong? Something in here, then? But this shouldn't contain anything that I could actually use. So then, 
what's the deal? What do I use? Oh, hey, tinder box. Always welcome. What do I... Oh, did I check these, though? It's just plans, right? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. That feels breakable by hand because I just spam clicked on it and it worked. You have to be swift. When you activate the first one, you hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay. More oil. Always good. Always welcome. Now, how do I get that? Oops. That is not quite where I was aiming. There we go. Aldstadt and Brennenberg Castle. 1801. Another region. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, go into reading mode here. I'm just... Hold on. Let me gather my thoughts a second i'm gonna still stutter a lot so you know another region rich with lore and in is aldstadt deep within the east prussian woods for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor castle brennenberg the quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque is as picturesque as it can be albeit the area is haunted by dark by the dark ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition all travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep re reappearing. The story re No, The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty, year Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods, and were forever damned to roam the ground. Their bodies rot by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and, descri and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living through creatures. Is it prey which can be heard struggling inside a damp burlap sack? Sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence? Wait, no, no, no. Is it their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp, burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence? What dark scheme do they follow? Alright, so essentially just like... Mm, deformed humans who make no noise going through the woods with a sack but that, of something that's damp. That's dragging behind them and it reveals their presence. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. The well-known erudite revisited Aldstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of one time, of the of the time. One day, he went to investigate to investigate a burrow in the northwest glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Gre Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever vis visiting Aldstadt. Which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hum hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Hmm. It's the only prominent thing so far is people getting lost in the woods. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at a castle nearby Oldstadt. And like most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited, inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the, richer, from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. 
Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one of the same one... In fact, the one... No. That is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Hmm. Okay, this one's a bit different than the other ones. But it is still local folklore, fol folklore so we should take it into account. Books, nothing else. Right, well, 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 with all these books, I am going to leave it here, so... Yeah. In darkness. If you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow.